this a $2,500 game of men? We're kicking it off with two of the biggest names of the sport. Clef the God, Echo Fox Joke. Day three, DreamHack Dallas. So happy to have everyone along with us here at DreamHack and in the Twitch chat. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. And what better, RG? It's June 2nd to have some money games of Madden here at DreamHack Dallas. Yeah, if you would have told me at the start of the year that we would be here in June playing in a $25,000 tournament and we'd be getting to see Echo Fox versus Ju Echo Fox Joke versus Clef in a meaningful game, I would have told you get out of here, but it just shows the moves that this community is making. I love it. And a matchup we have seen so much here at DreamHack. It's the Falcons and the Chiefs. Clef playing those Atlanta Falcons. Joke playing those Kansas City Chiefs. And RG, if you're a Chiefs fan and you're hoping to see some Chiefs success, the Falcons have performed extremely well on the back of Julio Jones and Tevin Coleman. Yeah, I mean, the Falcons, they've had Freeman in the backfield, probably the better running back. If you feel in Julio over Tyreek Hill, Matt Ryan, I guess Mahomes has the advantage, but the Falcons really separate themselves from the Chiefs when it comes to the defense. That Falcons front seven has so many speedsters on it. We couldn't even name them all. Bruce Irvin, Vic Beasley, Deion Jones. Jack McKinley. Uh, McKinley. I mean, it just goes with Campbell. Whoa, goes, look at oh, the sticky stick. But, yeah, it goes on and on. So a lot of speed on that defensive side of the ball for those Atlanta Falcons. Rico, uh, what do you think of Tyreek Hill? I think he is the one player that you cannot allow to beat you on that team. I had to. You have to go and take him away. He, you need to know where he is at all times. There's no gray area on that. Clef happened to be sitting next to Jay Bird before this game started. I hope it did not rub off on him. Ch chances, gun, gun. chances, uh, Jay's still in the crowd after that. We're, we're, we're 10 minutes into the broadcast already. Dragging on him. Devontae oh, he's Freeman. got room. That has been a weak point of Kansas City if you've been watching over the last two days. The reason why Atlanta's maybe had a little more success, the front seven for Kansas City has not stopped the run effectively. There's just not much talent and speed up front. Yeah, hey, they're, wait, wait. they're definitely, their weakness, Nick. I mean, it's obvious. It's going to be the defensive side of the ball as you guys yeah. dig right into your monitor. You know I was getting text messages all ye yesterday, people asking me, how many sodas were you guys drinking up at the desk? Here's what I'll tell you. It's not soda. It is the Green Apple Monster. Shout out to sugar Evil free. O. Sugar it's definitely sugar-free. Evil O put me onto this when we were at the EA Studios. You got to love it. Tip your hat, EMP. They're all locked in watching joke right now. Thank you, Evil O. Third and six now for Clef stepping up with Matt Ryan. Good coverage down the field oh. and a fourth down opportunity. And we talked yesterday, RG, joke, maybe seen more as a defensive player. How about a defensive stop on the first drive? Oh, this is going to be big. And you're going to see Get Clef out. come out in this gun trips tight end. Interesting enough, this is a formation that neither joke or Clef was running at the beginning of the year. They were both gun bunch players and both have switched to this gun trips tight end offense for this tournament. Big fourth down for Clef the God. Play action pass, Ryan dropping back. Look at right side, a little wow. underneath pass, and that's a first down to a 43 yard line and a smart read from Clef the God. That's a very smart read. He gave that flat route time to develop, make sure it gets past the first down marker, didn't rush, took his time, went through his progressions. That's a big first down from Clef the God. And remember, this is a guy that comes from a legitimate football background, so when it comes to X's and O's, he's gonna have, a, he's gonna have an advantage against most of these other players. Freeman right up the gut. He'll pick up three. Again, top eight here at DreamHack's first ever Madden tournament. A rousing success. 96 players we started with. We're down to the final eight. Top four in the money. So this, a $2,500 minimum game of Madden. Look out for Tevin Coleman on the wide left side. Play action pass. Ryan dropping back on second and seven. Rolls out right side. Good coverage down the field. Oh. Good patience. But, man, a good defensive play. Stepping in the way of Tevin Coleman. It's good defense right there by Joke. But I do like how in this gun trips tight end, just with one little motion to that right side of the field, you can go from a gun trips tight end and turn it into a gun doubles type formation where all of a sudden you could run a flood concept with that tight end and running back on the right side of the formation. So that motion allows you to do a lot of stuff out of this gun trips tight end. Well, third and seven for Clef. Ryan, pressure. Just gets it off underneath. Big hit. 
But he's still going to pick up a couple yards and another fourth down opportunity. And it looks like Clef's going to take the three points from 54 yards out. Well, this is the right move here, Nick. You get the ball first on your opening drive. You're going up in a, against an elite caliber player, an elite defender in joke. You have the opportunity to get points and set the tone. It's exactly what you have to do. I like that field goal call by Clef. Here's the question. If you're Clef, are you happier with the three? Or if you're Joker, are you happier that you held them the three? I'm Joke. I feel great. And that's what, that's what I have to agree with. But I, if you're Clef, there's something to be said for not getting skunked on your first drive. Like especially against as good of a defensive player as Joker. I think it's one of those neutral situations. Yeah. Neither player too happy about it, but both players willing to live with it. I think a lot depends on the outcome of the second drive, right? And I couldn't agree with you more. If Joke puts up seven here, he feels even better. If he puts up three, it's a stalemate. And obviously, if he doesn't score, then Clef is the man. Got some legends in the chat tuning in for this game. I see Young Kiv, Joe Rice, Mustafa Jones. Some of the best Madden players in the world that couldn't be with us here today. Bye, Thank you guys for tuning in there in the old Twitch chat. Shit, man, everybody who's been in Twitch chat all weekend long. First ever DreamHack Madden tournament. We've seen the community really come out for this. Make sure you get people into the chat because the action's only going to pick up a, a $25,000 prize pool will be given out at the end of the day and crowning the inaugural. DreamHack Madden champion, deep shot, first time. He's got him. It's a burner over the top. Dropped it. What a big defensive play. Hey, Rico, what do you think about Tyreek Hill? He dropped it. He dropped it. I told you, you cannot leave him one-on-one -on -one with that thing. He got lucky there in that situation for that drop. Hopefully that'll be the wake-up call that Clef needs to not allow that to happen again. Second and ten. Hey, go for it Look one right more back time. To it. He's, He's got picking it this time. on him, and this time it's a big first down to the 13-yard line. I did not know the bird flu is contagious. <laughs> the J bird flu is contagious. Oh, you gotta let my J my dude J bird live, Rico. Ruger in the chat saying, "Please watch Hill." Oh, you Bobcat saying he can't stop Hill. And it was funny. We had an interesting debate going on in the chat yesterday on who would you rather have, Tyreek Hill or Julio Jones, if you had to pick one of them when you're building your team for Madden 19. Depends on who I'm playing against. Second down 11 for Echo Fox Joke. His first offensive drive handoff left side. Picks up four. I assume if you're, you're playing against Jaybird, you're taking him off. I feel like I can put the three of us on a streak against Jaybird and still have. You gotta leave my guy, Jay. I shouldn't even have poked the bear. Hey, hey. It's my fault, Jay. I'm sorry. Third and seven this is a huge play right here for Joke. Because you'd like to try to get seven, but you're going to take your three, obviously. you got to feel good getting that big play down the field, though, so you're in field goal range. Third down and seven. Pressure! That speedy front seven, and you bring in Ricardo Allen. The safety makes a play. It forces Joke to settle for a field goal. The defense is coming up strong in plus territory. Ball's down. Kick is up. It is good. Buck 11 in the first quarter. It's a tie ball game. Here we go. We're right back to where we started. We Tie ball game. Right back to where we started from. Anyone? Nope. All right. That's the second time you've referenced music that no one else besides you knows. See, I have no pop culture references past 1990. I'm an old soul. So we need a flux <laughs> capacitor to get back to your pop oh, yeah. culture references. Yeah. Great Scott! 3-3 three, three, your score. Phenomenal movie, by the way. Oh. Oh. Do you think the chat knows just by Flux Capacitor what movie we're talking about? Or are they too young? Ghostbusters. No. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Well, we already talked about how many um, great movies that, that some of these guys haven't seen. You think they have seen any of the Back to the Futures? I'm not going to go there. That's, that, Rico gets mad when he sees Tyreek Hill over the top. RG gets mad when he hears somebody hasn't seen a good movie. Now, all right, this is a big drive here, boys. With Joke here, do you think he's going to allow Julio Jones one on one? Oh, good lurk right there. Bluffed like he was going to guard the corner route. Saw that underneath in route coming from Julio Jones. Broke off the corner route, makes a tackle. Now he's got Clef in the third and five. And to me, that's the difference between a good defender and a great defender. He made sure that he himself knew where Julio Jones was, and he was able to make that play. Well, and it, it is so tough to do that that bluff lurk without putting yourself too far out of position. 
And now on third and five. Clef gets out of the pocket. Waiting. There's nobody open. Fourth down. How about that? Willing to throw the ball away on third down rather than risk going for a turnover or scrambling with the quarterback and fumbling. And Clef's going to go for this biggest play of the game thus far, boys. A possible momentum changer. Oh, man, this one's huge. This could dictate... This could dictate a lot in this game right here if Joe's able to get this stop. I actually love the call here by Clef. Actually, if you think about it, he got bombs up top with Tyreek Hill, but he locked up once it was in the red Good zone. Good point, Rico. He's saying, oh, no problem. I can't get beat over the top with Tyreek Hill here, even if I turn this over. Trust Great job, Clef. This, to me, this is more of an opportunity for Joe than it is for Clef. It's a Jones in motion really from right to left. Tone here. Freeman on the left hip of Matt Ryan in the shotgun. He's going to send Jones back over to the right side. Good motion, Ridley. Ridley from right to left. Tevin Coleman, wide right. Are you sending the goons? Yes. We don't four-man rush from Joke. He's got all the time. He picked it up last time with a little underneath flat route to the tight end. He does it once again. Austin Hooper, a talented tight end, getting some open space early in the game. He was right there. Yeah, that was one of those 50-50 plays. He easily could have got tackled short of that first down right there. Clough able just get that extra little separation he needed. Turn it upfield, pick up the big first down. Drive continues. Big hit in the backfield on Devontae Freeman. Losing three on the play. Joke has to be able to put that play behind him and do not let that stick with him. Because he's still got Julio on that field. Now second at 13. Ryan, left side, looking for Hooper. A nice diving play on the corner route. And now another third down. Joke's defense really locking up. A cleft passing attack, RG, that yesterday looked really in rhythm. Problem is, he's going up against one of the best defensive players on the circuit right now, an Echo Fox joke. And you know what? Joke has been playing drag all year long, and drag known as one of the best gun trips tight end specialists in the community. So you know this is a formation that Joke has to be comfortable playing against. On the right side, look for the corner. Oh, and picked up! Joke, the first turnover of the day. Kendall Fuller with the interception. Rico's rock solid pick. Look at <laughs> Not only that, you see who that pass was to? Fuller. And do you see how many people were around him? Rico's doing the face. <laughs> I wish they could see it on camera. I need a Rico face cam all the time. Oh, Deep man. shot. Oh, right side. He got it's it back. Picked off. We're going the other way. One for one on interceptions with targets to the big guys. No. He robbed him the other time and he got it. It's one for two. <laughs> and he dropped another one. So he's one for three. That, that is rough. You think, that's, you think that's a good way to make a living? I'm asking you guys honestly. Like he got that one and you tip your hat to him for making that amazing play right Whoa, there. What a j uh, I, I think uh, he went back to it too, too early. I, I agree with you, Rico. But I, I think he should, you know, run the ball a little bit more. Clef's obviously seen it. It's fresh in his mind. You just hit him over top with it. Save it after you catch him off guard with a few other different things. Joke went back to the well a little too quickly right there. But, hey, I mean, that's what happens when you got Tyreek and Mahomes. It gets tempting when you see that coverage shell that you feel you can just pick up all those yardage with. It's hard. Ah! The defensive mind picking him off for the second time in the first half. Wow, three interceptions in about what? Four, four, four five plays. plays, four plays, tops. Oh, spin move. Hey, this is a great way not to get an interception, run the ball in first down. Oh, and if you're joke, that's huge. You got to remember, you're going to get this ball to start the second half. You really need to capitalize on this turnover where you're already in field goal range. A touchdown here would be phenomenal for him. Second down at six. Great field position for the 21 yard line. The, the thing about Clef, though, is he is a competitor. He's got a competitive soul. So, when most players would get frustrated in this situation, they'd be kicking themselves in the butt, kind of getting out of character. You know, Clef's the type of player that's going to stay locked in, stay focused, and stay at the task at hand and make it difficult for Joe. 
Joke needs to make sure he doesn't push too hard here. He has three points. Do not try to force this ball to get that first down and give Clef a chance to get another pick. Third and nine. He has, him. has a man right side. He held it. Oh, he dropped it. Drop on. I got him. I got him. That's big. Sammy Watkins. That's big. Another field goal. And RG, we we talking about how uh, Clef's not going to let this get to him. We saw another guy who's in our top eight. Kratobin had a rough game yesterday. Four interceptions, but hung in there and was able to get a win in the round of 16 to get to the top eight. And a lot of it was just not panicking when one of those turnovers happened. Yeah, Kratobin's playing a special kind of matter right now. We were actually talking about, about it before the day started here. He's just... He's got that vibe to him of someone that could win the tournament. Even when you're not playing your greatest man in football, but you could still find ways to win big games, that's usually the sign of the type of person that's ready to make a run in the tournament. So that's going to be a good game between him and Mr. Headstick. I believe we got that one next. Next. First down at 10. Coming off another interception for Clef. He's down 6-3. to three. Matt Ryan dropping back to pass. Looks over to the right side. It's Tevin oh, Coleman. Yeah, watch out for that strip. The joke's been a strip machine. How nervous, Scotty, do you have to be when you see that animation coming up? Oh, you get nervous. Terrified. Ask uh, Ice. Poor Ice. A good run right there. Yesterday from Played his heart out. Schwartz. Oh, there goes Clef. Eight carries, 49 yards. Over five yards of carry. He might need to stick with that run game. Yeah, some su success on the ground for Clef. Here's where it gets interesting. If Joe can get a stop here, you know he gets ball back in second half. That could change the whole look of this game. Yeah, this is huge. This is a huge drive for Clef. It's exactly like you said, Rico. With Joke already in the lead, getting the ball at half. And if he would be able to get a stop here, give himself some time to even get points before the half, that would be tough. 6-3, to three, nearing the two-minute warning. First game of the round of eight. A $2,500 game of We're so happy to have you along with us. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams at the desk for the final day of DreamHack. The final day of the first ever Madden tournament hosted by DreamHack. Play action pass on the right side. That has been the money play early in this game for Clef. It's finding the tight end underneath. Just a little flat route. It'll pick up another first down. It looks like Clef's getting a little bit more comfortable throwing the ball. And once he gets that, it can spell trouble for Joke. Two-minute warning. Are you, RG, are you surprised at how this game has gone so far? No, no, I expected a, a back-and-forth battle. It's going to be a tight game through and through. And that, that's exactly what we're seeing here. I mean, you see Clef already in field goal range in a position to tie this ball game. These are just two high-level players just taking what, trying to take what's given to them. Few, both of them made a couple of mistakes. But, yeah, it's a close game, exactly as I anticipated, Nick. 138 and counting in the first half. Six to three-year score. Three wide receiver set. For Clef the God, no touchdowns yet in this game. All field goals, the defense, the story for both of these players. using as much clock as he can. Clock management from the pro in Clef. Ryan, right side, X over the middle. That's a really, that's a really good play right there. And I saw Kiv mention that in chat, saying you gotta put the tight end on the curl when you have that crosser coming across the field and it was wide open. Exactly, because Joke's sitting in a cover two shell, so what that means is that deep middle of the field's gonna be wide open and Joke's gonna have to guard it himself. So if you keep an underneath route in that middle of the field, Joke's gonna now have to make a decision. Do I wanna go guard that underneath route or do I wanna go with the deep route that might be going up the seam or a post over the middle? You gotta put Joke's use a defender in conflict, and that's exactly what Clef did with that play right there. That was a phenomenal play call. Be interested to see if he goes back to that. Second down and eight from the 17-yard by red zone offense now for Clef that got first time we've seen Clef in the red zone today. Going back to pass on the right side. Finding Devontae Freeman. Rico, if you're if you're Joker, are you happy giving up that three-yard pass with under a minute to go in the first half? Yeah, you don't mind it because what happens here is you want to make sure you keep him out of seven. You cannot give up seven here because now there's more pressure on you. And when you get that ball back at half, you're trailing as opposed to being in an even game and having the control. Look at Clef. He's going to continue to let this clock wind down. Joke has no more timeouts. 
He's going to try to make sure Joke doesn't see this ball with enough time to do anything efficient. Gun, gun, gun. Third down and three. It's a big play. Big play. Clef yeah. could run here. He has all three timeouts. Nope. Good pass. I don't see anything. He's going to have to throw this away. He's got nobody there. No, he's oh, going he back at the end zone. Oh, he Ooh, he had Devontae oh, Freeman back man. up the end zone. That was incredible patience. Guys, you just wish they could have got that execution there. That would have been nasty. That would, that have. would have been a nasty play right there. It, it was a nasty play. He almost converted it. Matt Ryan just not able to make the throw, but still good clock management by Clef to be able to tie the ball game and leave Joke with only 12 seconds, no timeouts in this second half. We're likely going to this second half with a tie ball game. Now, if you're Clef, do you still leave Tyreek Hill with one-on-one -on -one and trust your stick? No. It looks like he's going to. He came out in the 3 3 5. If I'm Clef, I'm going quarter three deep here. Um, you you got to get back with that user defender. There's Hill up the side. Yep, there he goes. Doubled on the right side. Five, four seconds, no three out. seconds, no time left. And that is going to take us to halftime. First game of the top eight, and it is a 6 6 ball game going into the half. It's phenomenal. Castle Black in the chat. Now this, a football game. Couldn't agree more. I like that. I like Castle Black. A little Thrones reference. What you guys got in the chat? In this second half, we got a tie ball game. Give me the one for Clef. Give me the two for Joke. Where you guys heads at in the chat? One for Clef, two for Joke. We play in the middle. Nowhere to oh, go. A lot of ones in the chat. It's off rip. Got to remember, 73% of them thought he was going to win anyway. Yeah. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Still there. You're right, Rico. I like it. I like seeing where I need. A, you know, a mid game where you, where's your head at? All the EMB guys are pressing two. Everybody else is pressing one. Hit as he throws, but is able to get it to Williams. Now a third and five. And we talk about jokes defense, but clutch defense. A little shaky early over the top with Tyreek Hill looking to get a big stop to start the second half. Play action pass. Mahomes is going to go for it. One on one. Clef's good. good defense by Clef. Clef is clicking on and getting to that ball. He got bombed that one time, but now he is playing good defense. He is almost begging Joe to try him right there. Watch what she asked for. You just might get it. Fourth and five. Watkins in motion from right to left. Williams on the left hip of Patty Mahomes. A fourth down attempt early in the second half. Mahomes, left side. Oh, he did not get the line to gain. It's a turnover on Downs trying to give Clef a little taste of his own medicine with the tight end on the flat. How about that? Clef gets his momentum back. Joe got his stop to open up the game. Clef gets his stop back, and like Rico said, we're right back to where we started in a 0-0 ball game with Clef with the rock. It's really 6-6, but you know what I mean. I'm right there with you, RG. Oh, man, this is a good ball game that we got going on here, fellas. And only the first game of the day. So much action to come from DreamHack Dallas. Second down and eight for Clef. He's got great field position at the 32-yard line. Play action pass. Right side. He's got oh. square across the middle. He's got room. That's Tevin Coleman. And boy, once Coleman got the ball in his hands, look out. Well, did you see Joke? He did it again. He was running with that corner route, and then he just broke off it immediately as that short dig was coming over to the middle of the field. This time misses the tackle. I think Joe got caught up in whether he wanted to try to go for the pick or versus make the tackle on that one. That second that he hesitated wound up missing both of those and gave the Clef the opportunity to pick up more yardage. Close play, nonetheless. I mean, that was a game of inches. The way he broke off of that corner route, you can tell he's timed that before. He's seen that short dig right out of that trips tight end one too many times. Back in the end zone! One-handed catch! The first touchdown of day three goes to Clef, the god, and who else would get it but Julio Jones? Rico's doing the face. He's doing the face. He's got... How many people were with Julio that time? No one. Exactly. 
Rico, it's tough out here, dog. Oh, no, I know it's tough, but all I'm <laughs> saying is out here, the one Coming up next, Rico <laughs> Williams taking on Joe. Let's see what score that game is. Oh, my. I, well, here's I what I'll tell you. He can be you only throwing to t- He can tell you I'm only going to throw to Tyreek Hill. You can give him one other option. No. <laughs> here's what I'm telling you. I might lose that game 143 to nothing. But it's not going to be Tyreek running a straight streak that gets it's me It's going to be Sammy Watkins with Sammy nine Watkins, touchdowns. Kelsey, they'll be putting up amazing numbers. Oh, nice spin. He'll lose that game 143 to nothing, and he'll be he'll be capping at Joke going, guess what? No touchdowns for Tyreek. He's going to be like, I got eight for Kelsey. I can't put Joke in a box, but I can put Tyreek in a box. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. This is going to be a big drive right here for Joke. He is not known as the most prolific offensive player. He is a guy that I think relies more on his defense. So for Clough to have the seven-point lead right here in this third quarter, he has put some pressure on Joke and put him in a situation where he likely needs to be able to respond here, and he almost gets picked. Just a hair late getting over. If you're Clef, you have to feel amazing right now. All you're seeing from Joke is Hike and Chuck right now. And if you can take that away and you feel comfortable with that, you're in complete go, control go, go. of this game. See if Joke goes to the air here. Is he going to try it inside zone? Nope, he's going to the air. Third and two. Underneath oh, it's top. And Clef's got some room. It's he good. makes the man miss. 15, 10, toe tap down the sidelines. He's at the five-yard line. Ricardo Neal with another big play. And Clef is out of his seat. He's playing to the crowd. He's letting Joke hear about it. Little Fred Flintstone tiptoe swag on the sideline. Couldn't get in for six, but the damage is done. Who do you think jumped up first on that pick, Clef or Dubby? (laughs) Yes. Need it! Now a first and goal, and how big would a touchdown be to put him up two scores? Five yards out. Devontae Freeman breaks a tackle. He's a free man into the end zone. A two-score lead for Clef. Man, Joke has got himself in a situation. But if you're Joke, you need to understand, and he does understand, you're still very much in this ball game. It's just pivotal that you put together an offensive drive right here. Go down and get seven. Your defense is definitely capable of getting you sp- stops. You got the Kansas City Chiefs, the best offense in the game. Yeah, they're putting their need it in the chat. The Church of Madden is going crazy. Plenty of time remaining, 2.18 to go in the third quarter. But Joke has not looked comfortable on offense yet. Plenty of time to get comfortable, but got to start here. First and 10, Mahomes underneath. Clef, man, and he, Clef is just playing so well. And I look on Twitter, and I love seeing Clef's pops, Coach Snap, on there supporting his son, showing, telling him how proud he is. And, you know, Clef just uses that as additional motivation. When you hear him talking about his father, he talks with so much pride. You can tell he comes from a very good family. And he's showing that pride on the virtual gridiron right now because Clef the God looks tough out here right now. Shout out to Coach Snap. Third and four for Joe. Drop him back. Looking for that post once more. This time he gets it. A first down to the 40-yard line. And RG, when you're looking at a guy like Joe, who early in this game, going to the well with Tyree killed down the sidelines, when that starts getting stopped, how tough is it to change your game plan to spend against a guy as good as Clef? If you joke, you're going to expect him to have multiple ways to attack, especially this 3-3-5 defense. He's been going against it all year. The trouble is, is when you see a front and you, like I said earlier, and you feel like the bomb is there and the easy money is there, it's hard not to just keep going after it, especially when you've labbed it and you know it's supposed to be successful. But once you've seen that Clef has taken it away, you really do need to just move away from it and go through some of your other dots. But, yes, it is easier said than done, Nick. It's not that easy to just go away from that well, especially when you think it's there, even though your opponent showed you it's clearly not. Oh, another bad read. Almost picked off. Got lucky there. This is a big play for Choke. This is two-down territory for him. So many guys in the chat. Three-time belt winner. Skimbo in the chat. Dubby. Vilma. Everybody hanging out. Kim. Appreciate everybody. Tuning in to the final day of DreamHack Dallas. Third and four for Joke. Oh, no. oh what a dive! Oh, oh. 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 Tyreek Hill oh. breaking tackles and breaking hearts as he's into the end zone. Joke says this game's not over yet. I was going to 
to say bad read, but then I realized Joe put it in the one spot where Tyree could get it, threaded the needle, and when he needed a play, he got it, and now we got ourselves ball game. Wow. Are you mad at that play because Tyreek Hill scored? No, not at all, because he had three people around him. Joke just made it was great defense, better offense. If Tyreek gets me that way, I, I you got me. Oh, man, that was just a huge play for, by Joke. He absolutely needed to make a play. It looked like a terrible read, put the right touch on the ball. Hill makes a play for him, and now he's all the way back. Uh -oh, but Freeman's got a lot of room. Spinning and willing. Oh. Little hesitation. I think he got a little too sticky there to, for himself. He had that outside that could have made Could have still been running. That spin move. They get addicted to that spin sometimes. And a reminder, guys, you can check out the entire bracket at dh.je slash Madden Dallas. You can see the full bracket. See the wave results from groups from single elimination yesterday. Let's see what's upcoming. DH.JE slash Madden Dallas. Or in the chat, you can just put exclamation point bracket. Do you think three wraps this game up? No. Too early. Depends how much time he takes off the clock. Hand off to Freeman right side. You're about to put your fours up right now. Yeah, it would be big. It would be big, Rico. Two possession ball game in the fourth. You can't count, you can't ever count out anybody the caliber of Echo Fox Joe. Speaking of them being addicted to that spin. I can't wait for Madden 20 to come out. All these players with the high ball, the spin, they're going to have to go straight through rehab for those first couple of weeks. <laughs> we got our fours up here in the studio. Fours up in the crowd. Fours up in the chat. We are five minutes away from one of these guys being in the top four. One of these guys getting a guaranteed $2,500. It's a seven-point ball game. Clef with the lead and the ball. Tiv agrees with you, Rico. He's saying three. I think three That's wraps the game it up. here. Play action pass. He's got a man open right side. It's Calvin Ridley with the stop and go. And he's going to go all the way. Put it in the end zone. Put it on the board. Calvin Ridley gets six. Ooh, that's <laughs> he got him good. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Didn't go to the spin, did that. He said, look, my six is better than yours. Watch this. Ooh. Got him. Didn't need much. That Ridley was there. When you give it's a tough. guy like Calvin Ridley that much space in the open field, you're going to think he makes something happen. That has to be a blown assignment, a blown hot route, something from Joke. Because Ridley was wide open, and if three ended it, what is seven to? The good thing for Joke is he has 453, three timeouts. Hey, hey, hey. If, if he can go down and score a touchdown, it's not over. If I'm Joke, I'm happy that I gave up a touchdown with 4.53 on the clock than a field goal with two minutes on the clock. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But oh, you're not man. happy to see Ricardo Allen once again screaming off the left side. Another sack for this Atlanta front. At right, that point, Ricardo Allen's a front eight. I don't think I've ever seen Clef rattled. This is a guy that every time he is up there on the main stage playing a big game, he just seems so calm and poised. Oh, almost picked off again. Oh, Travis, Travis Kelsey gave him the old get off. No. But these five-yard passes aren't going to do it for Joe. He needs to get something down the field. And ever since that first quarter, Clef has locked down Tyreek Hill over the top. I'd have to agree. Third down and 10. The interesting thing was when Joe had scored his touchdown with Tyreek or his deep bomb earlier in the game. Oh, you got to watch out. He did it from the left side of the field. When he's gone back to it, it's mainly been on the right side of the field. And every time that's happened, Clef's been able to click onto whatever defender he has on that side of the field, get himself in position to make a play. You got to wonder, is it a personnel type thing? Would Joke have more success if he went back to that deep bomb on the left side? How about this, a fourth down? Opportunity for GG's here for Clef with a stop, and the pressure's going to get there. And Clef, the god, he can feel that 2,500 guaranteed in his hands with a big defensive stop in the fourth quarter. That is going to be it. Joke's going to need a miracle to come back in this one, I believe. Clef is going to be too good of a player to choke this game away. Up two touchdowns with the ball in field goal range. I expect him to run this ball three straight times. Take whatever joke gives him. 
Needs to stay in bounce here. Oh, gotta watch that strip. Run this ball three straight times. Take as men, much of the clock or timeouts from Joke as you can with you. Take three, three possessions. Ball game. Looking back at this entire game now, RG, besides the, that bomb to Tyreek and a couple other places, passes, Joke's been in a box he has. this whole game. Even, even, I've, I've been giving Clef right. grief about that, but he has played a wonderful game on defense. Yeah, even that, the, the touchdown that he got with Tyreek Hill when... It, it was a nice pass, but let's be real, he did throw with three defenders around him. A, rick, a risky pass at the very least. He was fortunate to be able to get that one. It's been a good run by Joke, though. Look at Joke. It's not giving up, though. Continues to fight. That, that's two strip animations he's gotten on the last few plays alone. That's exactly what he needs to do if he wants to give himself a chance to get back into it. That's admirable by Joke. Not giving up. Continuing to, to do what he needs to do to try to fight in this ball game. But that's not enough. Big first down. Minor guys, prize breakdown of this $25,000 prize pool. 12500 to the winner. 7500 to second place. Third and fourth. Each get 2500 big ones. Here, what is the final... Final big Madden 19 tournament of the year. This year is, it's gone quickly. It seems like just yesterday we were at the Madden Classic and now it's DreamHack Dallas and EA Play next week. Playing the first game and winning it is such a big advantage in a situation like this. You now get to sit back, watch Gertobin and Mr. Histic. You get to sit back and watch everything and now when you're watching this as Kurtobin and Mr. Hitstick, you're still thinking about your current game, and you have to watch both of these to try to figure out which way it's going. I'll ask the chat, because you got a lot of the players in the chat. Here's my thing. Would you rather play that first game and get to watch the rest, or would you rather play something like the last game and stay in a rhythm? Because now, Clev has won this game as he's into the end zone to extend it. Would you rather do that? Or now, Clef's won this game. He's played a phenomenal game against Joke, but now he's got to sit for three full games in the crowd and think about his next game and get out of the rhythm. Would you rather be that last game and just get to win one game to play another one? I can tell you, I, when I was playing, I'd rather play first, get it done. You come there. I don't want to look through everything like that. I want to get my game out of play, and then let me now break down what I need to do for the next one, lock in, and go. Yeah, I'm with you, Rico. Just kind of... Being able to get that win off your back, get some chill time, think about it, regroup, see what everybody's doing, take it all in. But I, I could see why other people would want to go the other way. So when you're feeling hot on the sticks, when you're feeling good, good, you know what I mean? You want to play 20 games. Yeah, you, you want to just, just line them up and keep them coming. It what? seems like everybody said play first. Kiv said it depends on what type of player you are. Kiv, can Kicked you off. expound on that and just let us know in terms of what you mean? Whether you offensive, defensive, whether you're a tournament player, what do you mean by the different types of player? Picked off, and boy, let's remember, look at that scoreboard. It is 34 to 13. It was a 6-6 ball game at half. A dominant second half performance from Clef the God and for Joke. This close to get some money. I thought the Golden State Warriors played tonight. That third quarter blitz he put on him looked Ooh. like the Warriors. Who, who do you got in that series, Rico? Whew, I think you got to go Golden State. Not down 0 1, huh? Mm -hmm. they get, they're going to get KD back in game three. Might be four. Is it three? I think they're, they're, he's not going to come back in two. I don't think KD plays at all. He's rested up so he can come to my Knicks. Oh, there you go. You see Clef. Headsets are off. GG's in the chat. The first spot in the final four. Going to Clef the God with a dominant second half performance. 34 to 13. He has guaranteed himself $2,500. Again, he didn't want it. He needed it. While he guaranteed himself $2,500, he's looking to add 10 racks to that. He wants that 12-5. He wants the title of the first official Madden Tree Pack tournament winner. He took a great first step in knocking out Joke. I mean, it, 
You want to talk about a way to get some momentum in a tournament, especially in, you've played two, game, two days of Madden, coming into the third day, you get a big win over one of the top players. That's got to give you some confidence going forward, and Clef has never been short of confidence. Yeah, you know, it's not every day you find yourself with a lot of expectations on you, and it's even more rare when you find someone that's been able to live up to those expectations. But that's what we've seen from Clef so far. He came into this tournament with a lot of hype around him, a lot of expectation, and so far that young man has been able to deliver very, very strong performance. And we got 